Good morning and welcome to Unwanted Opinions. I'm your host, Justin McDonald, here with Matt Fisher. Woo! <laughs> we always wait for the sound. <laughs> Fact checker, Jesse James. Are you going to make a sound too? Or? No, no, no right. sound today? Sound, Stand in, executive producer, Johnny McCurchin. Thank you. That's what's up. And person on the couch, Kat Ramirez. I've been calling you Kathleen, but I've learned Kat today. Did you not introduce no, yourself? Whatever works. Yeah, I said hello. At least, you, at least you didn't forget her name like I do. With and then I focused on my own name because I was like, I don't know if I should tell you JT or Justin or... What did he tell you? All he said all of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Here's McDonald, list please. of names. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and aliases. Broadcasting just... live here out of the Workspace Collective. So happy you're here. Matt, talk for just a second because I'm going to share Oh, I was this. trying to share it too, but you know, like last time I tried to share it took me 30 minutes. So um, we have a whole box of cupcakes off to the side. I mean, four boxes of cupcakes because in a weird turn of event, it is Kat's birthday. Instead of us bringing a cake, she brought us cupcakes. <laughs> hey. So <laughs> happy, happy birthday. birthday. And thank you for these delicious looking cupcakes. So uh, I'm going to have you explain what they are again when you get back up on the mic. Yeah, because I've already forgotten. But I remember there was good. one in particular that sounded really good. Mm -hmm. And you don't even like. Yeah, I'm not a huge you're, sweets You're person. not too excitable when it comes to sweets, unlike me, where... <sighs> That's my lunch now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everyone laughs, but it's he's the truth. serious. Yeah. yeah, it's bad at the office when we have like those days where we celebrate people's birthdays, and it's just like, oh, we're having ice cream social? Cool. I'm just having three, three bowls of ice cream, and that's <laughs> my lunch. <laughs> Not three tubs, three, three bowls of ice cream. Three half gallons. Yeah. And then it's just like lunch, like my actual lunch time comes. I'm like, nah, I'm just not hungry anymore. I think I'm, I think I'm good. Yeah, I don't know why I'm just not hungry. I can lie to myself and be like, well, if I eat unhealthy at lunch, like I have the whole rest of the day to burn all those calories off. <laughs> And so it's, it's still, I feel better. I literally feel better than if I did that at like 6, 7, 8 p.m. at night. Because I'm like, oh, great. I'm going to go to bed soon. It's all just going to turn into fat. So. I don't think you know how uh, the I body don't, works. And I don't want you to tell me. <laughs> yeah, okay. You already told me that like liquor has calories in it. And that was. Well, that's, sh that shooketh my world enough. So that's where I was. I was like, that ice cream melts. Does it have calories? They're empty calories. Okay. Like, they don't uh, count. The Seinfeld episode. It's like the frosting on these cupcakes. I'm pretty sure they're empty calories. They don't count because it's light and airy. Like, yeah, how could course. it turn into something bad? Right. Yeah, my mother-in-law makes this, like, mousse cake. And it's, like, filled with, like, a lot of egg whites. And she's like, oh, you can eat as much as you want. It's, it's egg they're whites. It's egg real whites. light. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think that's true. Like, there's still sugar and stuff in there. Uh, but, yeah, the Seinfeld episode when they uh, – you like how I'm referencing a 20-year-old? <laughs> Plus, yeah. yeah. I was gonna say, I think it's probably like thirty. <laughs> it ended in like ninety-seven. <laughs> chill. Okay. Uh, so that's like thirty or twenty-five years old. Yeah, but the, were they the have the fat-free yogurt? The fat-free yogurt, and they want to get it tested. And Kramer's like, "Oh, you got to get it there frozen. You know, the the molecular buildup changes if it melts." And they get it there and they ask, and the guy's like, "No, are you stupid? Like, no, it's still the same molecular buildup." Well. I, I understand where they're coming from. No, you don't, because there's nothing to understand, because that's not true. Well, I mean, I can choose to understand how I want to. Okay, that's fair. Yep. You move, you, you, facts are uh, just suggestions now. <laughs> right. Literally and opinions means, are facts. Literally means figuratively in the, def in the dictionary. Yep. So, like, you know. Welcome to the metaverse. Yeah. Welcome to the metaverse. Broadcasting live from the metaverse. You now have to, like, fact check whether someone's meaning literally, figuratively, or literally, <laughs> literally. Uh, Art Heist was last weekend. It was. That's was a lot up. of stuff last weekend. Art Heist was awesome. Yeah. It was fun. Um, a lot of really great pieces. Yeah. Like, ah, we've had some good pieces in years past, but I mean, I feel like this year was just up there. Tyrus with his prints and the story that was so behind cool. that. Those were awesome. So awesome. Uh, Megan's pieces, of course. Dave's prints. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Rich Slyker's piece that he put in there. Yeah, I loved his piece. Uh, That's Jet, his horse lady. Yeah, the that horse lady. Okay. David's stuff. Pam I mean, stole that from me. Well, that was a first, yeah. You should go have a talk with her. Yeah. I, I like, so it was one of those things I was just like, ah, you know, because it's funny because I was like, when my name got drawn, like it was that's the man's Jubilee. I was like, man, I want that one. I don't even like like horse themed stuff, mm -hmm. but that one was phenomenal. And so I put my sticker on it and like I turn around and she looks at me and she goes, That's my painting. You know, or something <laughs> along those lines. And I'm like, dang, she got that that's real my bike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a little intimidated. <laughs> Pam did leave with that painting. <laughs> what did you go I got DJ's um piece of the um oh, 
Seminal you feed building, which oh. was great because, you know, um, like Lauren pointed out afterwards, she's like, you know, because she was, I think she was off with the baby when I when I won that one. And so she saw it. She's like, I freaking love that, too, because we had some engagement. Freaking love it. It's some engagement photos in front of like a section yeah. of that building as well. Oh, so okay, she was cool. just like, yeah, but I I'm thrilled. That yeah, piece was yeah that awesome. was I love that piece. Who who did that? DJ. So I don't know DJ yet, but uh, but I really love that piece. Um, he, is he the one that has drawn people like drinking? Yes. Yeah. 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 I think cool. it was just like uh, he was doing this thing where it's just like I can't remember how much he was charging, but it was like super you know affordable. accessible, affordable, yeah. and it was just like I'll draw you chugging a beer, and then I think it, you had to be like chugging a beer. Oh, I'm trying which, to convince him to get me chugging a Mountain Dew. Yeah, I, I think you should do it. Doing the do. Doing the do. Uh, I just thought everyone that liked his work was alcoholics. I was like, ah, okay. <laughs> he does like he's you know he was at the art heist. I mean, I, I mean at the um, he's done the art walk before, and he I don't know he just has that really cool style. Um, yeah. you know that I really like, and he's done stuff from um, who's the who's that swamp monster creature from the Black creature Lagoon? From the Black Lagoon. Yeah. You all know like, who they oh, are. Yeah. Where is this going? <laughs> awesome. It reminds me when what I really accidentally like... used someone's nickname that they didn't know that we gave them when they were leaving Ooh. our house. <laughs> all right, see you later, Shrek. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh oh. Yeah. All, yeah. Couldn't. It's hard bouncing back from that one. Uh, yeah. So at the art heist, I have a fun little story. I got completely big timed by someone. <laughs> Which is like one of my favorite. You have to explain to the listeners what big time is. I got Hollywooded. I got, uh, yeah, I don't know. Look down someone's nose upon or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you look, look down your nose on someone. You know what I'm saying? It just sounded like it didn't fit. Yeah, it sounded. Yeah, weird. I was trying to make it fit. Okay. So I'm having a conversation with Matt Wardell, and now keep in mind, Matt's dressed nice. I'm in a t-shirt because I typically will wear like a long sleeve black t-shirt with a Max logo. And a black beanie. Like a cat burglar. Like, yeah, like I'm a little burglar to kind of fit the theme of Art Heist. But it was hot. Okay. So I was just wearing a black t-shirt, beanie in my pocket. So I'm back in the little VIP area. We're having a conversation with Matt. I haven't actually seen Matt in a long time. He just got his like doctorate. Congratulations, Matt. Pretty cool stuff. He's been pretty busy. We just haven't seen each other in a while. So I'm having a conversation. <laughs> and this lady... That I think works for one of the local publications. I don't know which. It doesn't really matter. But she walks up and just, if this is me and this is Matt, she literally just blocks me out, like squares up on me, <laughs> blocks me out, goes, I'd like you to come take a picture. I'm literally mid-sentence. And so I just kind of like cross my arms and I'm, I'm laughing, like silently laughing because I was like, this lady looked me up and down and decided you're not important enough that I can't interrupt whatever you're saying right now. And so she looks back and just sees me kind of like, all right. And she goes, oh, I I'll take a picture of you too. And I was like, it's the picture I was worried about, not the conversation. Thanks. Yeah. So, I hope you followed her oh, to on. get in the back of all of her oh, photos. So she has obviously has no idea who I am. Not that I'm like anything, but in this particular situation – I am the president of Max, and I'm going to be up there talking in a few. So we go back out there after she just, I mean, very rudely interrupts me, which, again, is hilarious to me. I introduced myself as the president of Max, had the little you know, intro thing. It was all directly pointed at her. Like, I saw the unbroken yeah. eye contact. <laughs> right. Didn't blink. For those of you who don't know <laughs> yeah. who I am. <laughs> yeah. So then afterward, you know, we start to mingle again, and she comes up, and she's like, um, hey, I wanted to, and I was like, oh, hold on one second. <laughs> and then I just left for the entire night until it was time for You did dip out right after your talk. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had a, so my daughter had her volleyball championships that night. So, yeah, I just gave her the hold on one sec, and then never came back. But I'm like, ah, uh, I, I genuinely Did she not know she was messing with King Petty? Oh, yeah, no. Find, find out the hard way. Yeah. Um, and, like, the thing is, she was, like, she was nice to me. It's just that, you know, I'm allowed to interrupt your conversation. Those journalists can get pushy. <laughs> Matt was, like, as she was, like, pushing him away, he was, like, hands up, like, ah, <laughs> sorry. It was good stuff. Good times. <laughs> I uh, saw it up there on the board, and I was, like, when, how did you get big time? Yeah. So. That makes I, sense, though. I didn't get to stay, but I did get, I was getting live texts from quite a few people uh, about what was going on, and. People talking about their pieces, which is pretty cool. 
come back and I see that <laughs> Roberto's just walking away yeah. with Kyle Corley's big, beautiful piece. And I'm like, dang, dude, how many times did that get stolen? He's like, no, I was able to get it, man. And I was like, what? And off of one ticket. Yeah, he had one ticket for $25. <laughs> Walks away with a piece that I would pay that quite is a, a steal. bit more. Absolute steal. From Kyle. Um, but, you know, it's just one of those things that sometimes it just gets in the mix and people aren't yeah. paying attention. And or Rob was also wearing a tank top, and he's a very large man. <laughs> very <laughs> muscular right now. So I think other people are just like. That's his piece, too. Yeah. You know? He's yeah. the only one who can physically carry it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, it was a big piece. Yeah. So. I and he was the... carrying it around like it was like, I Nothing. didn't realize it was plywood. Like, yeah, yeah, it is. It's like a big chunk of wood. He's like swinging it around like a you know, <laughs> sign waver, like it's nothing. <laughs> oh, that's a very heavy Tosses piece of wood. in the air. Yeah. I like that there was a mystery piece this year. That one got a lot of traction. That was, it was a, I think, Jesse Miller's idea. Yeah. yeah. It, it, was, it was fun. It was cool. I think there's a lot of people where they're like, you know, just that bit of mystique yeah. behind it. Cause like, you don't know what you're going to get, but that was so cool. And that one was pretty highly contested. Um, yeah. and it was changing hands a lot. So. Yeah. And so then also you get the big reveal at the end too. Mm-hmm. Like a ladder. That was to Cal's piece too, right? It was, yeah. it was like Gosh. a kidney shape. The weird shape really drove the yeah. market yes. on that one. Well, and that's why it I was like big too though, you know, and yeah. it was prominent. Literally you couldn't have a more prominent, like right spot for spot on the piece. wall in this building you know like because they, all the walls were full of art you know which was the cool part but like that piece was on the mantle and so when we were discussing hiding it um ryan and i were talking about it so i was like i don't want to hide a square canvas like right. yeah kind of know what they're getting into uh, and they know the size by the width of it, yeah right? um so then we put that up there it was like that's got to be it yeah. Absolutely. Okay. That's that awesome. Wonky shape is just it had like, like a yeah, right. it was like a diagonal, and so like it was like the curtain or the sheet was hanging, you know, off kilter, which definitely drove the allure. Yep. So, yeah, so uh, uh, VIPs got a peek at it though. Yeah. But not all the VIPs took advantage of that, which I think like I kind of like that, where it's like you have no idea. Yeah. 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 yeah, so yeah I had no cool. idea. I was speculating though. Yeah. Uh, anyway, great time. It was awesome. Mixing in the volleyball championship, uh, which is super cool to see my daughter. This is her first, like... Did they win? Yeah, they won. Hell yeah. Yeah, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, And then, you know, my buddy Eric is the coach. He wasn't supposed to be, but it was one of those situations where we get there and they're like, yeah, we don't have a coach. I'm like, I think Eric can do it. (laughs) He's like, "Uh, okay. I was like, yeah, I'll help, you know, as well. And uh, it's neat because... We got to see – it's been a long time since I've actually, like, coached. And when you get to see the progression of someone – so there's a girl that was pretty – a little too young for the team, and she couldn't get the ball over the net. And by the last game – It's an important part the of the game. It is, yeah, but it's, it's hard when you're little. And uh, they're playing on, like, you know, regular size nets. Like, this is kind of – it's a big deal. But at the last game – and she's little, last game, when it, when it counts, just getting it over the net. We're all, you know, freaking out. Like, people are like – we start cheering – just when she serves to get over the net. And it, I, like, I think it just got in the, the head of the other team because they're like, you haven't even scored a point yet. Like, why are you cheering? Like, because this is so That's cool. That's the move right there. Did she yeah. score a point on that serve? Um, maybe. Okay. I, she did because I know that she got to serve because they can serve three times in a row. She got to serve at least twice in a row oh. where she got it, which is pretty cool. And she actually got to the point where she could, like, volley over the net, which, again. It's better is, than I can do. Right. Is, is, is a really, it's, it's neat to see that progression. And she wanted to get better. Right, she didn't give up, you know. She wasn't like, "Oh, I just can't do it." She's like, "No, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this." So, pretty neat to see. Well, congrats to that team and their win. Yep, the yeah, Shockers. They... I don't know how they come up with these names. Why did you make that face? That's just an interesting <laughs> name. It? Why? Can you explain to me why? I don't know. I just would have chose a different name. What would you choose? <laughs> I don't know, like the Crushers. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Wasn't... So it was Crushers. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Where did Crushers come from? I don't know. It's not the Shockers. No, that's true. It's not the Shockers. <laughs> uh, anyway, UFOs. Yes, that's Shocking. what's on. They're real. Okay. Explain to us how they're real. Uh, because it just means unidentified flying objects. So, I mean, it could be Chinese tech, Russian tech. Could be a boomerang. Could be a boomerang. Could be a geese, a goose. Could a f- be a geese. Could a gaggle a of geese. geese. Yeah. yeah, they don't know. Maybe, uh, the, but like everyone knows now, though. Like, can we the, just take a pause on that for just one moment? Have you seen the video of the goose with the bulls, uh, like the cows and the bulls? What are you thinking about? Have you seen the girl in the 
the human slingshot that gets <laughs> edge in the neck. Yeah. <laughs> she looks like she's trying to figure out if it's part of the ride or not. Like, was she, that supposed to happen? She handled it well, because I would have lost it. Did she get hit with a pigeon, or did the pigeon get hit with a girl? <laughs> is the real question, question there. Fun. Yeah. Which always makes me think of because she's Fabio. in that bird's territory, <laughs> like the uh, world's yeah. most by a goose on a roller coaster. <laughs> like what are the odds of like the world's most beautiful man getting whacked in the face? <laughs> Could you imagine how bad that would hurt? A, a lot. A, a goose. A goose so, is a big bird. Like <laughs> I, I could handle like a small pigeon, but like a goose. You know, with their sharp little beak and their 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 aggressive attitude, right, hard pass. Yeah. Body. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are goose thirty pounds? Yeah. 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 I don't know. Yeah. They're big. Uh, my yeah, favorite. Fact check that. There's a lot of things that make people laugh that just like I don't. know, They're not that funny to me. But the thing that you'll see me lose my mind on <laughs> is just like random, like weird chance things happening to people. More specifically, people being taken out, absolutely decimated by rogue tires. Yes. That's his that's his kink. <laughs> the tire gets that's loose. his kink. <laughs> and you see the security cam of just some guy. Look how much in. how excited he is right now. Because like, what are the odds? Like, you mix chance and like cause how do you explain that? Without video, how do you explain that? <laughs> He's so excited. And so like it's the same thing with like the birds, like it's just such a rare chance when Randy Johnson, one of oh, the fastest wow. pitchers alive, throws a, a heater, and you just see a bird blow. That up. bird was supposed to die. Right. Like, <laughs> right. How do you know? There was about just four feathers it. after the fact, just like floating down. Like the mass of it was gone. So the irony of the world's most beautiful man getting hit in the face. But no, I was gonna say the the. Is I that saw... an official title or is that your no, title I for think him? He's the world's most okay. beautiful man. I was gonna yeah. say like I've never heard that like. My second. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. That's his job. That's all he did. It, you, his job was to look pretty. That and fake butter. I, I can't, can't believe, believe it's not butter. butter. Yeah, wow. Shoot, it worked. That. Man, they got their money's worth with that advertising campaign. Someone told campaign. me years ago, someone was like, you eat margarine? And I was like, yeah. They're like, that's one molecule away from plastic. And I was like, oh. And I really like hook, line, and sinker. It got me. And then I was like, wait a minute, let me look up the molecular buildup of this. That seems wild. I'm like, oh, they, they read basically that on a meme. everything is like one molecule away from plastic. Like, yeah. Okay, chill out. Back to eating margarine. Actually, I was at the doctor and she was like. Why uh, eat margarine when you can eat butter, though? Well, hold on. She was like, yeah, you got to stay away from butter. And I was like, not a problem. I get, don't use butter ever. And she's like, yeah, and definitely not margarine. That's way worse. And I was like. Back to butter. Like, yeah. I, I'm a butter guy now. Yeah, but like, yeah, that's what I don't get. Like, why? Why would you choose margin over butter? I don't know. Ease of use. Like, I don't. I don't know. It is spreadable. Yeah. Apparently, squirt squirt butter is a thing. We used to have spray butter when I was a kid. Yeah. Like, I've I've known about spray butter, but I didn't know about squirt butter, and it wasn't until <laughs> what? If you can spray. It, you <laughs> yeah. I just I, 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 like I don't know. Like I've come in contact in the past with spray butter, but not squirt butter until it was like Carl when we were out on the trail ride, and he busts out squirt butter, and then my wife goes, "You're gonna have to go get some squirt butter because that brings back memories." Apparently, her grandmother always had it, and it's just like it is delicious. Is that a brand? It's I don't know. It's a blue bottle. I can't remember what brand it's it was. It's a blue bottle. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't know that was really a thing. So it's just it's, oil. It's literally vegetable oil, though, with sugar, I think. Okay. I don't okay, know. You're using the word butter. Pourquoi? Pourquoi? <laughs> well, the bottle squirt said squirt butter, butter, so okay. I'm going by that. You know why we got spray butter as a kid? Because it's easier to spray than real really butter? I was a really good kid. I was a very, very good kid up until about 12. I was a very good kid, except I just – we went through about 30 toasters because I <laughs> refused. Because you're dumbass. Yeah. Okay. Aggressive. Oh, wow. <laughs> I would put the butter, the peanut butter, or the cheese on first and throw oh, that in God. the toaster. <laughs> it catch on fire. And you never pull the, the tray time. out to clean it. So it would catch like, on fire. Ugh. It wouldn't matter because it would just be melted all over the coils. And my my mom would just be like, "What is your deal? How come you just didn't turn Stop the toaster on the side this. and just use it as an oven like a sane yeah, person?" Yeah, right. I don't know, man. Like, how do you reheat your pizza? Toaster, I would JT. always do it too. <laughs> I just cramp the butter, the peanut butter, or butter would just be scraping all over the side. That's cramping in there. So gross. Set you're it you're on getting fire. peanut butter on your heating coils. Get my wooden spoon and dig it out. And my mom would just be like, "Y'all is nasty." Ah, yeah. I mean, I can't tell you how many toasters we'd go through. I, I have no idea why specifically. Like, nope, not gonna listen to that one. It's gonna keep setting this stuff on fire. Unbelievable. Yeah, I can't. I can't believe the gall of this kid. So then they're like, "Listen." 
I, we know it's hard to like spread the butter, so you don't need to melt it in the toaster. We're just gonna just toast the bread and spray the butter on. I'm like, all right, I can do that. <laughs> That's something I can do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right? They walk in, he's just spraying yeah. it inside the toaster. He's spraying it inside his <laughs> mouth. Yeah. And then Takes he... a bite of bread, yeah. sprays the butter in. There you go. Problem solved. Yeah. You've been to my house, you know. <laughs> yeah. That's Eddie. not far from the truth, actually. Uh, so. No. Back to, so we got to go back, back, right? So yeah, back you, to the we goose. We started on UFOs and ended up on fake back butter. There. Back to the goose that was backing down some bulls. Have you seen that? I thought it was CGI. I was like, there's no way this is real. It's a, literally a goose with like bulls and cows like trying to like stampede it. And it's just standing there like, nope, nope. And then he just walks away. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mess with a goose either, though. Yeah, I found out the hard like way. the swan that catches that skier. Oh, I haven't seen that. Yeah, it flies right up on him while they're water skiing. <laughs> like the guy can't get away it's from it. It's my lake, fool. <laughs> yeah, he's just right there on his foot. That's, that's a turf war. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you water skiing so, and geese attacks you. So back to UFOs. They don't call them UFOs anymore. That's idiot talk. Spaceships. Idiot. No. Aliens. It's, it's UAPs. No. UAPs. Why, why are they changing the this rules is of the we, game? Because this is what we do. They go, oh, there's stigma attached to this, so we're going to change it. So that stigma then attaches to Yeah, because to I hear UFO, even though it's just like, look, man, that was term created just for something that we don't know about. Doesn't mean it's aliens. Everyone hears UFOs and they go, aliens. Is that the stigma? Yeah. Okay. What's UAP? Unidentified aerial phenomenon. That's that sounds right. even crazier. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to throw like the word phenomenon into it? Right. right. Yeah, space space skills now. Well, because they're saying that they had their they had their first like congressional commission on UAPs in 50 years. I watch it because I'm like. The, that was the one that we know about. I'm like, yeah. They've well, had this, more. No, this is one that's like. They haven't released the files yet. This is a public one. Uh, yeah. If there's one thing. That I was rooting for is like, no, I'm not going to get into it. Um, <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. But I watched this, this like hearing, this congressional hearing, thinking like, we're about to hear this stuff. And they're just, it was just a bunch of nonsense. I'm like, you know, this is stupid bureaucratic. Like, they didn't like really confirm anything. And they're just like, they confirmed that they're going to confirm it in the future, basically. They've come out and said, like, hey, look, that like that one video that got real popular of, like, the orb. The Tic Tac? I don't know. It was like the, they released all the footage from, like, the fighter jets, and they're, they're like, yeah, you, can you see this thing? And it's, like, this orb floating around, and it just, like, disappears. Yeah. Um, they came out, and they are like, yeah, that's a real footage from our Navy ships and, you know, planes, and, and we don't know what the hell it is. So yeah. that's crazy because I'm like, yo, either China or Russia has that technology or that is an alien. Or it's coming from the bottom of the ocean. Right, or it's, like, black side stuff yeah, from us. Like. Yeah. Bro, yeah, I've right. seen it's Pacific Rim. Up, yeah. I know yeah. how it works. Yeah. I know how it works. Uh, I watch movies. But as far as sightings go, there's like 138,000 sightings a year, I think. Or no, maybe the database is 138,000 deep. Uh, I imagine there's 138,000 a year. So the, the most reported, they have like formations and cigar mm -hmm. shapes was like, cigar shapes is big in like the 50s. I don't know why. Like maybe that's when yeah, people were smoking cigar cigars. Cigar. Yeah. <clears throat> Look at our planes <laughs> yeah. in the 50s versus yeah, our planes now, though. <laughs> Think about that. Think about what? What did our planes look like in the 50s versus what our planes look like now? Well, not like the list I'm about to give you. So I don't know. Chill out on that. Like, <laughs> yeah. like we went from like I a lot. I felt of, really confident on it, but yeah, because we went from like a lot of like prop planes, you know, and like think of World War II, like leading up into the 40s, and then into the 50s, prop planes, and now everything's like jets, you know, like you go from a B-52 to look a very SR-71, and that's the extent of my plane now. So don't ask me anymore. <laughs> so the number one most reported. <laughs> <laughs> Think about the planes that we had then. Yes. That are way That's different than the ones we point. have now. That's a good point. Y'all know it. Uh, the... <laughs> a little tired this morning. <laughs> yeah. The number one most reported UFO is just like a beam of light. Like, yeah, I saw a beam of light. Pretty I'm... sure it's aliens. That's 28,000 of the reportings are, are beams of light. 14,500 is just a straight up circle. Like, I saw a circle, guys. Yeah, it's called a saucer. Yes, but they call it a circle shape. Triangle is the number three. And then, that of course, sense. fireball is fourth. Have you all ever seen, like, a really, really big meteor? Yeah. 
Like, it's frightening. Yeah, I thought I was going to die. Yeah. I was like, this is it. Yeah, I, I I'm was a dinosaur. My, I, I was on my bike on a back road, and I saw the biggest I've ever seen. And I kid you not, I'm so dumb. I was like, brace him for impact. Yeah. I'm like, it's going to hit. I'm going to feel this. Yeah, I was out at one of those meteor showers, and, like, my brother and I were staying up, and we were watching it. And, like, the normal meteors where they're just, like, the shooting star-looking things. And then, like, right at the horizon line we see one coming in and it's like, it, you know, you could tell yeah. like the angle it's coming in and it was like a greenish blue looking trail looked totally different and it was bigger. And I was just like, Oh shoot, here it is. Yeah. Here it is guys. <laughs> it's the big one. Yeah. Mass extinction event yeah. happening in two seconds. Yeah. This was not a media show. It just happened to be like, if you were, if you're out at night, you're going to see them anyway, but this is one of the biggest. And th I think this is like, it's either MySpace or maybe like Facebook. I remember getting getting on and being like, "Did anyone see this?" But you couldn't comment back then. <laughs> it's amazing how many times they 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 actually happen and actually hit Earth. But because there's so much water, we just don't really ever like know. Right. But like it's like I used to think it's like, oh yeah, it'd be crazy if you know if meteors hit more, and then you realize like, well, oh, they're actually landing all of the time. And then you get the ones where in like Russia, when that one was just widely photographed and it happened to be a big one, and it's like blowing out shop windows and people. Seen it go over like their expressways and stuff like that. Yeah, that's, that's wild. insane. That's a UAP. I, I don't know. I just think a lot of the fireball ones are just like those meteors. Well, and they also have like uh, ball lightning too. That can be. I never seen no ball lightning. Sometimes the way you speak <laughs> makes me uncomfortable. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Sorry to all you Verizon people. Is your. Uh, is your phone working better today? I don't know yet because I've been you on think Wi-Fi. It, you think about it is with as much as Verizon people would pay that they'd have a better, you know, coverage. What's yeah, a, you're not lying. Yeah. Uh, aren't they the most expensive one? Probably. It's like them and AT&T are up there for sure. Yeah. So okay. what's going on? Uh, I, I, you got to explain the, the – his explanation that he gave you yesterday, because <laughs> it's the, it's the most nonsensical BS answer I've heard in it a while. It was like he was reading a, a note on, yeah. written on his hand. He right? was. Like, so I go in there. I was like, hey, at, like, at least 30 just calls failed. Yeah. No text messages, no internet, no hotspot, no anything. I felt like I was on an island. Is that how you have your internet at home as a hotspot? Yeah, I just use a <clears> hotspot. <throat> yeah. Um, so went up there. He's like... Basically, the city's growing. <laughs> we're, oh, we're working on towers. It's a wait and see game. That is insane. And I was like, well, wait and see what? <laughs> yeah. How long are we gonna wait and see? <clears throat> I was like, do I have to wait? I was like, how much did we grow today that it just immediately <laughs> stopped today? Well, that's exactly what I said. I was like, ironic that we grew so much overnight <laughs> yeah. that I don't have internet anywhere, right. yeah, anywhere right. in this city. I was like, it's just wild to me. So I was like, how long are we gonna be waiting? And he's like, well, I don't know. I was like, awesome. Well, I'm going to wait to pay that bill. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand why people give weird lies as an explanation. Like, why not just say, I don't really know, man. The towers are down. We don't have enough information yet. I'm so sorry. But tell me a believable lie. Right. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. There was uh, uh, you know, a squirrel got in one of the boxes. Zap the whole line. Like, Right. So, but, like, t oh, the city's growing. Like, really, dude? It grew overnight, and now we don't have service. Like, come on. Did, didn't Texas do the same thing? They're like, look, I know it's in the middle of summer in Texas, so y'all should actually put your ACs to 78 because our power grid can't handle all of the people here. And it's just like, how did, like, did Texas just balloon overnight to where, you know? No, Texas is California. Te this is Texas. Oh, uh, okay. You know, because they have their own, like, independent power grid, you know, that goes down when, you know, anything inclement happens. And so now they're like, yeah, just don't run your AC because otherwise we're going to crash the system. And when it's just like, this not like a month ago? <clears throat> yeah. Interesting. So it was just like, it was the same kind of thing where it's just like, how are you not planning for this? Like, how, how are you not, like, building more towers or building more power yeah. grids to support the number of people you have there? I mean, we all know the reason why. Yeah, that. I, yeah, I don't know that that's. <clears throat> I don't know that that's. Com except the power grid. Please, <laughs> yeah, <I'm sorry>. right. <laughs> because you're talking about something that's happening over time versus this literally happens overnight. Yeah. Like, hey, the city grew overnight and you lost service. Like, I don't think that's the case. The, the excuse is in the same vein, though. Like, right. I mean, like it, it's just one of those things. It's like just say something. Like, like. Verizon, you know that the city's growing. You know that your yeah. your your your, your so coverage I. can't handle it, and it got to a point to where it it peaked and it you know put the system down. And I, it's like the the Texans were. But trying I don't to think that's the that. case at all. 
I, yeah, no, I think I, I don't know what I think. I think that they had an issue. Tyler, you oh, know, you think that like there was a tech issue with the yeah. tower, and then they spin that yeah, they, BS out? Right, that's, that's what I'm dumb. saying. I would have rather them just Kanye shrugged me. Right, like yeah. <laughs> I, I, I actually, when you told me that on text, I thought it was one of those things where it's like, yeah, they'd probably just seen this comment and then no, finally no, no, it gets no. to the they head and it breaks had, and they're like, no, oh, they had an excuse. issue overnight. And Tyler said it's leasing issues for the towers. Like mm-hmm. maybe they lost leasing it, you know, rights. And so you, they have less towers that they can use. But the issue is that it happened like literally over, like it's an issue. It, it's not at all to do with the fact that the city's growing. So it's a weird <laughs> lie or excuse to use. And apparently, <clears throat> according to Jerry, they add an economic adjustment fee of two twenty per line now, so you get to pay more with no coverage. Of course. Yeah. You know what? Maybe yeah. here's my theory. This is my work. This is my working theory that I just thought of. You know how they make those cell towers look like trees? Maybe they did that and they forgot which ones are trees and which ones are towers, and they lost them. Think about the trees that we had. Think in about 50s. that. And how that relates. Yeah. I, he, he got excited. He was like, yeah. I'm like, he, yeah, he's on board with this. There were only three trees. They, they were like, yo, we You're painted them. They made them look too much like trees. We can't find them. <laughs> and then the, Mr. Verizon's like, what do you mean you can't find our towers? It's crazy. Yeah, I, That's what I'd like to believe. I would rather them tell me that. That would be a much better lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah at least they, something. At least, like, yeah, at least right. you're laughing at it. Like, is this guy for real? Yeah. I'm trying to, I was trying to think. I just recently got one of those like weird lies. And I, can't, I couldn't remember what it was. But like, hey, just don't, don't do that. It happened <laughs> with my RV uh, windshield too. They're like, uh, yeah, uh, we had to uh, cancel because it's a two-man job because it's an RV window. And I was like, no, it's, it's an E450. Like it's a van it's window. Like that, yeah. And they just kept giving me, like, more and more but lies. it's classed as an RV, though. Right. right. To the point where, like, I finally, like, ha- I was like, I can't believe I'm doing this. I need to speak to your manager. Like, and I get on, and this guy's like, hey, man. And I was like, look, I'm honestly, like, I'm bugged that you guys haven't fixed my windshield. But I'm more upset that you're just telling me weird lies. And they just keep getting more and more extravagant as, like, the delays go on. And, like, it's just insulting my intelligence more and more. He's like... Look, man, we just didn't get clearance from your insurance, and they didn't, they didn't think about that prior. I'm sorry. And I'm like, yeah, I put that together. Like, thank you. Can we move on now? Right. And he's like, look, I can't legally tell you this, but I'm just going to tell you, you can go on your trip. As long as you can't feel the crack, like, it should be fine. If it gets bigger, it should be fine. You know, and I'm like, all right. So we went on. I did this whole week-long trip with a huge crack in my windshield. Right back without a windshield. Better hope yeah. that you didn't hit a goose on the way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whew, that was fine. We did deal with, like, the world's – most aggressive wind on the way back though to where like my forearms were tired from holding the steering wheel my wife's like you want me to drive i'd have been pretty strong with forearms of that size yeah that thing must not have power steering it god i'd hope it would that wind was that heavy we're like left the awning out yeah yeah (laughs) Uh, that awning 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 awning. doesn't exist anymore (laughs) you've seen my awning that's actually it didn't make the awning didn't make it back from the gambler yeah i'll just say that i don't know if my wife knows that yeah she sees the fray up at the top but i don't know if she's actually seen me it's still there jenny just don't unravel Um, it i'll fix it i'll fix it just get a harbor freight tarp roll it into the awning thing you're good to go zip tie it on zip that sounds as good as new yeah Distinguished gentlemen's ride is this weekend. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Uh, we know some people doing it. Yep. yep. Matt Grow, Cody, 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 Brian mm-hmm. Ragel, um, Justin Webster, I think, is doing it He's for He's leading Orlando. the ride in or- for the Orlando DGR, and I think the Orlando DGR is pretty big. Yeah. So, yeah, Justin's like the, the I don't know, pack leader. Road captain? Road captain. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Do you, do you know what DGR, the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride is? Yeah, it's a uh, it's a ride and it's like a charity ride and they raise money to um, uh, for like what men's prostate cancer? I think. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a men specific charity for you like know. You get I, dressed up. Bow oh yeah, tie. you wear your 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 best uh, your best dress, you know, whatever dapper clothing. Outfit. Yeah, dapper outfit, I think, and then like you go on your uh, your motorcycle. Wax your mustache up. Spit shine your red wings. Yeah. Good time to do it, man. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> I feel like wearing a suit in the middle of summer. I've always been like, you know, I wouldn't yeah, wear my suit on any of my bikes because yeah. they would just get covered in oil. Yeah. Like, that's the biggest problem. Yep. Speaking of Sunday, that's your birthday, right? It is. Happy early birthday. Nice. Yep, yep. Whoop, whoop. Turning the big 3-5. Hell yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. Are you, uh, are you concerned about the age you're turning? Or? No, no, not whatsoever. <clears throat> not whatsoever. Yeah. 35 is okay. Yeah, I don't know. 
Turn back time. No, I can't. Yeah, I can't start regressing now. So yeah, I'm fine. Maybe find one yeah. of the alien ships. You could. What? Maybe if you find one of them alien ships, you could. Uh, you you fly so fast through the through the space, you go backwards in time. Through the space. What space? Space. The universe. Okay. Thirty-five and thirty-six was were, were kind of hard for me. Really? Really? Yeah. Thirty-five. I was, uh, I was like, all right, this is my last year of like. You know, Acting I'm not in my early 30s. I'm in my mid 30s now. And then 36, I was like, why do I even care anymore? Like, it's all downhill from here. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know. I, I struggled with it a little bit. You I didn't have your think AARP I would. AARP card yet? Actually, I do. You can get those at any age. I do have. In case you didn't know, you can get it at any age. And use the discounts that you get. The yep. AARP discounts. People crack yeah. up when I do it, and I'm like. <laughs> Here's my membership card. Yeah. He flips through it. It's like Sam's Club, AAA, yeah. AARP. There it is. I need to get AAA again as much as I've been broken down lately. Man, yeah, just had to use it the other day, too. Yeah. Oh, Oof. I had to pay cash Oof. after I got towed. He's like, oh, by the way, uh, Big Joe tell you it's cash? And I was like, no. Like, I'm straight on the road in 2022. Do you yeah. think I have $175 just sitting in my pocket yeah. just in case I need to be towed somewhere? But he's cool. I, you better I, whip out that card reader and get with the times. I was like, Jeez. You got Apple Pay? Yeah. You know, Venmo? I was like, there's a racetrack over there. You can take me over there. He's like, yeah, yeah, hop in. We'll go. We'll go to the ATM. Like, I mean, at least they take you to an ATM. Yeah. No, nah, he, was, he was cool. Okay. He was there quick. This guy, he's like, he had just gotten a lung lung transplant and like a heart rebuild. Holy and, cow. Uh, yeah, 58 oh, years old. Brand. Yeah, that's what I, I said too. Truck drivers die so often. Yeah, <laughs> it's not the job. It's yeah, like irresponsible work. Right? Yeah, uh, <laughs> picking him up. <laughs> yeah. No, going back to work with a fresh lung. No, oh, no, he yeah. wasn't that new. He was, oh, okay. he he did all the rehab well, and all I of mean, that. Why why did he get the fresh lung? I, I don't know. To, to go back to work. He did. I'm going to a say lot. he was a cigarette smoker. I would yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that'd be my guess. Uh, or or next coal miner. <laughs> One of the other. Anyway, he took me to the ATM. It was all right, but I need to get oh, this thing's gonna kill me. I need to get uh, I need to get AAA again. I need to get CTO. I need to I need to get all the things. You don't need CTO. You just get out and push. Well, we did do that before. That's why you stay in between the channel markers. <laughs> <laughs> in case you didn't know that, butters. listen. When you're just so tired of your drunk buddies, you just want to get back to the ramp. You do whatever you can to, to get there quicker. And I actually always thought like. I always thought like the channel markers to an extent. I was like, I'm sure it is obviously deeper within them, but I'm like, it can't be that shallow outside of them. <laughs> I thought it was more of just like, they just want to like control the traffic. Like you can't, like I can drive off road, but they would prefer me to drive on road. Right. And so I was like, that's the same thing. Yeah. But if you need to drive through that field, you can drive through that field without problem. And so, yeah, when you pose the idea, it's like, yeah, okay, that's fine. I think and I then like the idea. Huh? Immediate, almost immediately, it's like, and I'm like, oh my god, we're in six inches of water. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But also, like, you're so far away from your land, you're like, how is there only six <laughs> yeah. inches of water here? What gives? So then you got to get out and push. Well, that's like when I had a, I was in a uh, kayak that sprung a leak and sunk, and I was in like, uh, right off, you know, in Dunedin, in like one of those bays there, and I was like, oh man, this sucks. You know, the kayak's filling with water; it's starting to sink. And I bailed, and like I'm trying to like drag this thing with me. <laughs> and at one point, I'm like, well, let me just see how deep it is. And like I basically went upright, and I'm like, it was silty, so like it wasn't solid. I couldn't stand, but I'm like, okay, I can definitely touch bottom though, which was also a weird thing of like I can't believe it's this shallow here, mm. six feet. So anyway, <laughs> is that I got funny? lost in what we were talking about. Cito, Cito, it's staying within the markers. Listen, we don't want to talk about Cito. I was just rambling to. Go ahead and introduce our guest. Kat, you want to go ahead and come on up? Come on down. Are you like, what was the uh, Price is Right guy? Ro Charlie? Rod Roddy? Roddy? Rodney? Roddy? Roddy, Roddy Piper? I was going to say that, and I'm like, no, that's definitely a wrestler, <laughs> not the announcer from Price is Right. All You're right. a historical buff. What is the Price is Right announcer's name? Or do you not know that? Bob Barker. Bob, yeah. No, no, that's not Bob. Bob Barker. The, annou the guy in the booth. Yeah. Oh, I don't know that guy. Okay. Bob's friend. Got yeah. It. I was too busy watching Bowling Girls. I only had a fact checker. There you go. Uh, His computer is shut. It is shut. Took him off. Yeah. So uh, someone's gonna someone's gonna chime in hopefully with what it's. I think it's it's like Rod or so. It's like something like Rod that. Stewart. Yeah, it's Rod Stewart. So that's not your area of historical expertise then. Okay. So not, not 90s 80s game shows. Got it. So what's what's your area of expertise for history? Uh, pre 1900. Everything pre 1900. Kind of. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, time. Yeah. Rod Roddy. 
Rod Roddy. There you go. Add that to your That's wealth right. of historical knowledge now. <laughs> yeah. Do you specialize in anything pre-1900? Um, Thank you, Pete. Cuban immigration history. Gotcha. Right now. Okay. Um, history of witchcraft. Uh, women. You're one week late for that. Yeah. <laughs> women that uh, kind of didn't fit the social norm. Okay. Kind of fun stuff. So you before the show you were talking a little bit about it and you said that you found out that you have um, like a, in your ancestry you've got Cuban immigrants that came here. Yes. All right, that's pretty cool. Yes, yeah, so I did the um, ancestry <clears throat> test. Found about half of the family found out I was Cuban, um, and so I started researching it. And and it's been a lot of fun. Like, I, um, when, when was that? How, how long ago was that? They migrated in like the 1880s. No, when did you find out? Oh, when did I find out? <laughs> yeah. Um, four years ago now? Okay, yeah, so you've been so working like, on it since then? Yeah. yeah. yeah that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so I did the 23andMe, and we've talked a little bit about this on air, and found out that my parents were like dead on with everything they'd ever told me. And I'm like, oh, that's shocking. And I am very much a mix of a lot of different... Uh, Mostly French. Mostly European, not French. There's more French in there than I would have liked. That I did find out, though, because <laughs> my, my mom's main name is Roach, R-O-C-H-E. And she goes, and I was like, man, there's a lot of, we got a lot of French. And she's like, well, yeah, like your grandfather's name was De La Roche. And I'm like, what? Like, how did. They dropped the De La when yeah. they came? Yeah, makes like, sense. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know when, if, they, if it was when they came or what. But. So you find out you're Cuban, you start down that path. And are they Cuban that came to Florida, obviously, but did they come to Ocala specifically? Uh, Key West and then Ybor. Um, they started like bakeries and cigar factories in Ybor. So the bakery yes. runs in your, runs in your blood, in right? blood, yes. Okay. And then eventually, I have got family here now from, that's in Ocala. Cool. So I don't know if there's like a connection to the Ocala cigar yeah. industry from that. Is so, there an Ocala cigar industry? There is. Was. Was? was. There was. I didn't know that. <clears throat> there was a huge. Yeah. 20, really? 20 factories. In Ocala. Mm -hmm. I did not know this. Yeah, Marty City. Yeah, Marty City. Pretty, pretty. There was a huge Cuban population. How do you know here. this? It was like its own incorporated town. Like with Where's Mar So where was Marty City located? Like, like. How do you, like, it was like near Tuscarora, like west. Okay. So oh, like so not. Okay. Like I thought MLK it was. Area. Yeah. I thought it was the, Which like the historic. Which Tuscarora MLK. Right, the historic dis yeah, West historic. District. Okay, so yeah, the, oh, that makes sense now. Yeah, because there's like that's the there's three historic districts, right? There's Tuscaloosa, the downtown one, and then West. Yes. Okay. So I believe it's it was in the West area. Um, there's a, there's a lot of crazy history that I think that people aren't aware of. I didn't Ocala. know that. Yeah. So I mean, there's a lot of people that have never even been to like the Howard, uh, not Howard University, but the Howard School, not Howard Middle School. Yeah. But the other one that's literally like right there on the other side of 441, the um, brick, like the big red brick building, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, but yeah, so Marty City was huge, and that was named after like a pretty prominent Cuban citizen, right? Jose Marty. Yeah. He was like a revolutionary. Yeah. Like one of the first ones. It was from the like the Cuban Ten Year War and the Spanish American War. That's pretty neat. So, what happened? Did we have a freeze or something that pushed people further south? Yeah, and then kind of citrus took over. Yeah, citrus took over, and it. It's a bigger some cash of crop. The, the freeze caused a lot of the banks to go bankrupt, and they just couldn't put into the industry anymore, and so they all moved back down to Ebor and Tampa. And yeah. I think the last cigar factory, like the nineteen twenties, really was gone. Which is pretty neat. Um, I mean, Ocala is like a pretty deep and old connection to um, like agriculture, anyway. There was like the Ocala Agreement, that like was a, like a pretty big deal for not the Green Party. I, I've never Wars heard of that ones. either. I'm yeah, learning I, too much today. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I, I I'm not. Yeah, William Jennings Bryant that came and like there's pictures of him at the old gazebo yeah. for the Populist Party. Hmm. That's what it was the Populist Party. That same gazebo. Party, yeah. Well, not the same. It was the. But like the same gazebo. one. Yeah, okay. Like, yeah. I was like, Dang, that'd be well, crazy. We have, like, what we have now is a replica. Of gotcha. The original, but that makes sense. Right. Well, have you ever seen pictures of like the old courthouse too? The old courthouse was amazing. I don't. I mean, I've seen multiple pictures of old buildings. I don't know if I've seen the courthouse. You, it looks like a courthouse that you would see. Uh, one thing I've liked is as the downtown has been revitalized, more and more people are like finding these old photographs and like hanging them up in the establishments. Yeah. And so like you're starting to because before like I, I don't think you'd ever see that. You'd see the old bank buildings and all the old hotels and stuff like that. Now it's like I'm seeing more and more 
historical you know stuff of ocal and i think that's really cool because people are kind of starting to, like you like you know well you've been doing it for a while but like looking back into it and like me i'm learning more about it so yeah it's there's there's a lot of history here there's also like we have like black wall street like there's like you know there's a, a pretty cool pretty yeah, i was talking to um ross and cj at cj's wedding and uh, CJ and, and, and my friend too, Quentin, he was, of course, Mayor Talk came up, right? So I was like, oh, Quentin, I got it. It's, it's you. You're going for it. And they're like, oh, man, well, there's never been a, you know, a black mayor, has there? And I was like, you know, I can't remember if there's been a black mayor, but there's certainly been a black sheriff. In like 1868, we had a black sheriff in wow. Marion County, which is pretty cool. So like there's a, a, a really big history that goes back that I think a lot of people just really aren't aware of. Um, that's a pretty, like, probably vastly different than what a lot of people would assume. Um, so it's neat. So, you know, to have people researching the, the old cigar factories and all that, it's pretty cool. Uh, do you know Olivia Ortiz? Yes. I just met yeah. her at um, Bought All the Brushes. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, we Olivia. We it out for, like, yeah. 30 minutes just talking about history stuff. <laughs> uh, she, at one point, was doing, like, walks or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so. there was, like, um, the last one they just did was the waterways. Oh, uh, okay. And there was, like, a whole like spring system under downtown Ocala. Like wow. I never even knew about that. I've heard of that. Do you know any more about that? No. Okay. Yeah, I've heard of that. And it's, I run down third street and there is, um, it's like third street close to eighth Avenue. So like approaching Tuscaloosa, mm -hmm. there's an empty lot. And then there's like a small apartment building, but there's like this long skinny grate. Yeah. And it always has the sound of running water. And so I always thought it was just like a storm drain. And then I started hearing people go on like these walking tours and being like, yeah, there's like this little waterway system underneath like the city area. And so then ever since then, I've been wondering like, well, how expansive is this? Is that like thing that I've run by all the time where I always hear running water like a small river? Like, is that part of it? Is that just access to it? It takes, you know. It could be. I mean, I know there's lots of cave systems in Ocala. Do you think it's a been small the cave. river? Is yeah, an underwater said? river. <laughs> yeah. You think what? you're hearing a small river under that grate? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not what a you, creek. Not a what is a spring? creek but a what is a creek but a small river? <laughs> Dang! I just, You're right. Hey, listen. She confirmed it. So I just I wanted mean, to, I just wanted to hear from you that you thought that that was a small river. Not thought. Think. <laughs> yeah. Still do. <laughs> just making sure. I'm, uh, I think it's the one that I've heard about in yeah. in lore lore lure lure lure, lure. <laughs> downtown. There's a lot of, a lot of lore. Yeah. Uh, in the what other caves other than we all know about the one behind the lows. Yeah, I've, I've heard that one. Like, I've been in that I've one. I've heard that it runs all the way to, like, the Walmart. I didn't, I mean, I didn't, like, go in it. I'm not, like, I mean, I went in it, but, like, not far into it because I'm not that dumb. This is, your, your story's falling apart, buddy. Well, have you not been in that cave? <laughs> yeah. There's caves. I mean, I've been in it, but I haven't been in it. But I've been in it. Like, I, like, you walk into the mouth and, like, you walk back to the point to where you're, like, halfway bent over, but I'm not, like, belly crawling to see how far this thing goes. Gotcha. I'm beyond that in my life. I went to a cave in, like, Tennessee one time. That was it. Yeah. Did you? Did, did you walk is it through Ruby it Falls? No, I don't even know where it was. It's Ruby Falls is a pretty interesting tourist attraction. Yeah. yeah. No, this was like out yeah. in the middle of nowhere. Uh, okay. We had to like cross a, a stream, like a real river. Yeah. <laughs> okay. To, to get to this cave. We're gatekeeping rivers now. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, Not one of your fake rivers. <laughs> yeah. We, river. There's a lot of caves here that probably people aren't aware of. They had like um, the whole tourist attraction where it was like the Ocala Caves. And we, what? Like, yeah, it's like right outside well, of Ocala. I'm yeah, not sure where it's at. Down by Bellevue. Yeah, down yeah. by Bellevue. I've been to those caves. And it's it's they're still there, but they're like gated off. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. And it was an attraction. Yeah. yeah. Whole, like in the there's 60s, like a 70s. The pictures from it are pretty amazing. What the heck? It had like the big caveman outside. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. I'm like blown away. Like how like how can we don't how, can we revive that as like a tourist attraction? Well, That'd be cool. I was talking to my dad about that because I was I was saying that you know I'm bummed that my kids will never see the Silver Springs that I saw. Yeah. Yes. And then I remember my dad telling me that about Rainbow Springs. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, like oh man. Used to work there. Yeah. Good. He's like yeah, you you it was the best man. You had the big bird cage with the coaster riding in. I'm like what? And they're like yeah. My my aunt like ran like the submarine on the river. I'm <laughs> what? like what? Didn't they're like. They had a train. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, like sky water. buckets. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, what? Like, how do we revive? I remember this, seeing like, like the old, like whatever, whatever the bird thing is before. Yeah, the like, because they have like the, yeah. the cage. It's bird cage. I think when it's bigger than that, it's aviary. That's it. Yeah. 
Atrium? Eight, I was going to say Atrium, but I didn't feel like that's it. Yeah, I don't think it's, I don't think it's what it is. <laughs> anyway, so how do we, like, you know, go about reviving these, like, natural theme parks? I don't know that's going to happen. And I get it. Like, we're here for conservation, right? It's all neat and well. But you can, con- like, conserve it and still have... Yeah, attraction. attraction there. If you're responsible. But I will say this, though. I don't even go to Rainbow Springs anymore because every time I've ever tried, Ugh. they're like, nope, shut down. Like, just do it. We're at max capacity. They limit out at, like, as soon as they open. Yeah, I'm like, that's crazy. Um, and you can tell, too, when Silver Springs started being, like, an Instagram attraction because all of a sudden on the weekends it was like, oh, it's slammed and none of these people are from Ocala. Yeah. And, you know, they don't know the rules either. So they like immediately try to swim, and they're like, "Oh no, you can't do that." Like, yeah. The biggest gators I've seen on any waterway in Florida have been at Silver Springs, though. So really, yeah. I've never seen any gators. You've never I've seen, seen Silver Springs, though. Oh wow. Rainbow. Yeah, I've rainbow. never seen. I don't think I've ever Pools, seen like, game run into them. Yeah, like the rainbow that's river, opposite right? for me. I've never seen them at Silver Springs. Uh, yeah, but they don't bug you at all at Silver Springs. No, they don't. They're chill. Especially that There's stupid like, lady that. that yeah, that right. People. Um. They, I mean, they are cleared for swimming there, but it's going to be in the des- designated area, which is still cool. But this is where I go back and forth on, like, enjoying it versus conservation because then I look at Salt Springs when we go there, and I'm like, there's none of the vegetation that used to be there because it's, like, probably loaded down with, like, sunscreen and all of that that's killed it off. Or just oh, it's invasive spe- fish species as well. <laughs> yeah. That's a big Which problem. Which invasive species? Sp- 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get. That is what I get. Hold on. <laughs> what were you saying before you rudely interrupted yourself? Go on, finish it. Which invasive fish? <laughs> you know what I'm saying. No, I don't. You're going to have to finish this. You're going to have to finish this. No. Just, just don't bail him out either, Cat. We're, 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 we are invasive waiting for you. Fish species. Tilapia. So, the Placostomus. Which is the sucker? No, the sucker. Yeah. The armored catfish. I don't see from any Asia. of there. And that's then, like, a, the blue tilapia, and then the tilapia. Uh, there's, like, one other type that's invasive. But, like, they eat the stuff. Like, I don't know. It's, like, they're part of the problem that, like, is, like, killing off the grass that helps, like, filter the water and keep, like, the nitrogen levels and stuff in check. And right. so when that grass dies, the algae comes in. And that's why, like, rainbow's cloudy now. I the mean, rainbow's the, cloudy? Have you been down the rainbow recently? I just told you no. It's not like it used to be back in the day. I don't know. When was the last time you've been to the rainbow, Cap? Oh, wow. Years. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I just I feel like it was like even ten years ago it was just better. There's like more algae and it's kind of clogged, but their water levels down and the nitrates are like levels are high, and then like you have more algae than you have grass. It's so we're we gonna do like the lionfish thing and just let us like go out there and stab them. They just need to do impact. You know, they need to do impact surveys. They're I, they're over capacity. They at the they, rainbow. Well, at Salt Springs. They both fish the top. Yeah. Oh, Interesting. Yeah. I've done it several times. Oh. I'm gonna go out there and do that There's too. There's a lot of invasive plants. Yeah. In Florida. Yeah. Lots of invasive plants. Armadillos are technically like they were brought in in the 1920s. They're invasive. They're not in Florida species. What? Who? Whoops! <laughs> brought in armadillos. Wow. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just want to know like who was just like, yeah, Probably let's bring this armored rat that Probably has leprosy it. into the state for it's what like reason? Okay, the monkeys are cool though. Like, but and like they have a great story. I think the the best thing is that they're like, oh, guys, we didn't know they could swim. Yeah. That's yeah. our bad. Yeah. Third round. Right. Also, yeah. they yeah. all have herpes, yeah. so that's kind of our bad too. Uh, don't listen. Don't mess with those monkeys. Oh, yeah. we We've talked about that. that. They found out they like pepperoni. Like we had one of those. I don't ever want to find out again. On a boat, and they like sure. jumped on our boat. And yeah. pepperoni. The monkeys? Yeah. Just, oh, I've never been. I've never they, had one they like. They won't eat the cheese, but they will take your pepperoni. Hmm. I've never had one get on the boat. That would be kind of terrifying. It was all funny to me until they, like, went gang gang on us and started trying to flank us. I'm just glad we didn't have pepperoni. The boys were dropping out the trees like, we're doing this. Oh, my goodness. The thing was, like, trying to board my paddleboard. Good thing we didn't have food. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, that became very real for me very quickly. (laughs) This is no longer a joke. Uh, Yeah. Anyway. Well, how did we get on that? Armadillos? We were talking about conservation, history, yeah. Ocala. Basically, like the cool, you know, stuff that Ocala had that you know we don't have anymore. Like Osceola turkeys. I was just saying the other day that it's weird to me that we're like one of the few. Well, Central Florida is the only place with Osceola turkeys. Yeah. And the turkeys really are only indigenous to North America anyway. Like let's let's like like we're well, just, almost was our national bird. Almost. 
Almost. Instead, we got the scavenger, the bald eagle. Bald eagle does look cooler Bar-eager. when you put it on like flags coming off city light poles, though. Well, yeah, I, Imagine I, I it was like, like that. We want the bald eagle. Unicorn. What, like a real unicorn? Yeah, well, I think it's like New Zealand's. Is it like a, is a unicorn? That's, that, that is tracks. the most New Zealand that thing, tracks. though. That makes yeah. sense. Uh, yeah, that's so cool. No, I like the I like the bald eagle. I like that we were that. Was it Ben Franklin that wanted the turkey? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> very yeah, very Ben Franklin of him. <laughs> Apparently, they're like smart and dignified and stuff like that. Whereas, like the bald eagle is like this okay. scavenging. Turkeys are not smart. <laughs> no, not. Turkeys. So the funny thing about turkeys that I realized pretty early on is that they just get used to their surroundings. And so if there's like a tree. That's like, you know, a fallen tree, and they duck under My it. My man's a turkey expert all of a sudden. Go right. on. Well, if they duck under it, well, if you move the tree and they run in that same area, they'll still duck under it. So you can, like, set up an obstacle course. I'm not and then... believing you and your turkey obstacle course. This is the most ridiculous I'm create bit a turkey of information obstacle course yeah, please do that. I've yes. ever heard in my life. No, yeah, they remember their past. You're going to be so, there to record it for his So they'll do little yeah. hops and ducks, and you're like, why are they doing this? Like, well, there used to be something there that they would... Oh my god! This might be one of those things that I dreamed about. That's not, like the more I say it, the less I believe it. More more <laughs> yeah, that, you have just you're. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're just starting to believe your own lie. Well, it's a fallacy. It, that's a good lie to believe, though, right? It's not harmful. I want to believe that turkeys have muscle memory. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah. But you, but by believing that, you're believing that turkeys are dumb. Well, do you think turkeys are smart? I'm believing my man's Ben Franklin instead, who said they was. More so than bald eagles. Mm, yeah, but is bald eagle still a raptor, right? <sighs> That's like a they sweet catch name. Fish. It's not yeah. like they only eat trash. Right. I just think it's oh, great that they are scavengers as well. I actually yeah. like that aspect of it. <laughs> They're not, yeah. They did a job. They did. Right. They're gonna uh, get the it debates done. of the national bird. And I'm an osprey man myself. Ooh. But... It's a big old bird. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Split tail kite guy myself. I yeah. swear to God. Swan. Swan? You used to have a swan? A pet swan? In my swan? neighborhood, oh, okay. used to have a swan. They can live in Florida? She was displaced somehow. Her oh. name was Chloe. She was invasive. Yeah. 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 Everything. Everything. Yeah. Stop staring at me, swan. Right. Yeah. It was like, like cars would stop for her so she could cross the road. That's she a real was, diva. She was like our mascot of our neighborhood. That's crazy. I had a duck named Lenny. It was close. <laughs> Ducks are super dumb. Like, very dumb. They don't know how to brace for anything. He would run off my lap and just hit the ground, roll, and then just keep running. I'm like, you got wings. Because they got their like... own goose down jacket to protect them. But I just never understood. Like, why wouldn't you just, like, hop off? He would just run like a lemming, like, straight off. And I know that that's fake. Lemmings didn't actually all, like, it was like a Disney thing, but... You don't know what I'm talking about? No, I know what you're talking about. I, I just, I, I remember don't... the game Lemmings? I still believed it till like right now. Yeah. You remember, did you ever play the game Lemmings? No. I just know Disney gets a lot of things wrong, so. Yeah. This is like their like wildlife movie that they put out, and they're like, Lemmings running off a cliff. Anyway. There was like I thought you were talking about the game. game. Yeah, the PC yeah. game. is. You, like you game. remember? Yeah. Yeah. You get the Lemmings run off a cliff. Yeah. I don't remember any other point of it. Oh, the PC either. game I played was Oregon, Oregon Trail. This was Oregon, Oregon Trail... Yeah. Trail era yeah for sure i miss oregon trail i was just talking about that the other night like i miss the old i old downloaded i paid trail. for like the apple like subscription to get the oregon trail and it's not at all the same as what it was i'm like I'm i mean like the old this. old oregon trail like you're talking about it's like it's almost like board game ish on a com- like computer because it's like mostly text you know yeah. and, and like very little actual game yeah. compared to like nowadays like the most fun for me when i was playing it was when you had to hunt yeah <laughs> you know other than that it was just like typical colonial stuff yeah it's not like i really liked the game i like that <laughs> what it's part of my life it's dragged down by the <laughs> colonial, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. colonial video game. take me back to my colonial days <laughs> wow more frontier than yes you know, okay that's the word you know yeah. i'm not i'm not frontier the amateur pioneer. frontier Colonial's pioneer like Yes. I think he's using it in the term of, like, we're taking over the Native American I mean, land. that, yeah. yeah. Well, there is that aspect of it. Uh, and the dysentery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> that was the number one killer. Yeah, I, to me, it's, I don't think everyone actually really liked the game. I think that we like that era in our life. I you think know, so, like, too. You were a kid. 
You weren't as worried about things going on. Saturday morning cartoons. Yeah. Like the original Ninja Turtles. Right. Yes. And if you miss an episode, you miss an episode. Yeah, I only ever played it in school. Yeah. Who had a computer at home? Well, it was, I think, Oregon Trail or Math Games on the computer. You know, because you had the big... We had Breaker. Ball Breaker. Yeah. No, not Ball Breaker. You're a Ball Breaker. <laughs> yeah. Brick Breaker. Yeah, Brick Breaker. Something like that. Block Breaker. Yeah. All right, guys, it's already 9 o'clock. Kat, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, You do have a history podcast, or not podcast, you're maybe starting a podcast. I'm hopefully starting. You have a history blog. Can you tell us what that is real quick? Um, It's, I forget what the, because I, we'll link it in the comments. We'll link it, but um, pretty much the idea is I've been, when I go to places in Florida, I write about like the history of it or just random stuff. Like I just wrote about, um the Agent 355 that they made, like, a movie about. Nice. Oh, cool. Female um, spy for the Revolutionary War that actually didn't really exist, but they, like, it spawns right. like, all of these theories and awesome. myths about, like, this woman and uh, wrote a whole thing about, like, this didn't happen. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> We're going to link to that so you can check it out and learn other crazy historical Florida facts. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, everyone. Okay.